Two published articles state the average MIG welder wastes from 60 to 80 percent of the shielding gas used. In the Fabricator magazine, gas surge at the weld start is defined as the major cause of waste. In Trailer Bodybuilders, a leading shielding gas manufacturer representative, state shop surveys show MIG welders use four to five times the amount of gas they should. When welding, the pressure in the gas delivery hose varies from 3 to 7 psi. When welding stops, the pressure increases to the regulator pressure, which could be up to 80 psi. This stores up to seven times the amount of gas as the physical hose volume. The stored gas blasts out of the MIG gun nozzle when welding starts. We've introduced an easy way to periodically install a pressure gauge in the gas delivery hose to check for flow restrictions in the welding gas supply system. It's called the portable pressure test device. It consists of an industrial quality 0 to 100 psi pressure gauge and on one end a male compressed gas association inert gas fitting called a B fitting and on the other end a similar female fitting. It is simply threaded to the end of the gas delivery hose. The pressure test device also demonstrates why the gas blast that exists at the weld start wastes a significant amount of shielding gas typically 40 to 50 percent of the amount used due to this starting gas surge. To fully understand the implication of a pressure increase in gas volume, consider this example. A full-size gas cylinder has an internal physical volume of 1.8 cubic feet. Is that what you pay for? No way. The gas volume in the cylinder is proportional to the absolute pressure which is gauge pressure plus 14.7 psi. The cylinder is typically filled with 2500 psi. So adding 14.7 to 2500 and dividing by 14.7 then multiplying that number by the physical volume of 1.8 cubic feet shows there are 308 cubic feet of gas in the cylinder. That is what you'll pay for. The portable pressure test device is easily installed at the gas supply end by unscrewing the gas delivery hose, installing the pressure test device, and reconnecting the hose. It works equally well on the outlet of flow meters or regulator flow gauges where the output gauge is calibrated in CFH. It can also be installed at the female gas inlet on most US made welders, wire feeders, or TIG welders containing a gas solenoid which is activated by a foot control or a switch. It can also be installed on a flow control at a pipeline and when welding is stopped it will read the pipeline pressure. What you'll see on the gauge is the pressure changing for when gas is flowing usually from 3 to 8 psi to a much higher pressure when welding stops. Higher pressure level will depend on the type and model of flow control device or the pipeline pressure. With quality cylinder regulator flow control devices, the pressure when not welding will vary from a minimum of 25 psi up to 80 psi. On pipeline gas supply, the gauge will read the pipeline pressure typically about 50 psi. We developed and patented a device called the Gas Saver System is inexpensive, has no moving parts to wear or adjust. It stores 80% less gas when welding stops and cuts gas waste over 80%. This is how it works. Every time welding stops, higher pressure in the gas delivery hose causes excess gas to be stored. This excess blasts out of the MIG nozzle or TIG cup at each weld start. This not only wastes gas, it causes air to be pulled into the gas stream. The gas saver system is a very heavy wall, small ID gas delivery hose that replaces the hose from gas supply to MIG or TIG welder or MIG wire feeder. In addition to the small volume, one end of the gas delivery system hose has a built-in peak flow limiting orifice that prevents the gas velocity from creating excess turbulence, thus improving weld start quality. This graph shows a fabricator's results with their standard quarter inch ID delivery hose that produced a starting peak flow of 225 CFH. Note it exceeded 100 CFH for over 3 seconds. This caused internal weld porosity at the start. 
The peak flow orifice in the gas delivery system limited the maximum flow and the porosity problem was eliminated. The gas waste was also reduced over 80%. Welders appreciate the start benefits of the gas saver system and they still control the flow with the same devices they currently use. In summary, our pressure test device is a quick way to measure gas hose pressure and define flow restrictions, to demonstrate the reason for gas waste and starting surge, and to measure pipeline pressure variations. The gas saver system provides an 80% reduction in stored gas and limits starting gas surge waste. It limits peak flow rate avoiding excess turbulence. The pressure is not changed so automatic flow compensation for inevitable changes in restrictions is retained. There is still enough extra gas retained to purge the weld start area of air, important for quality weld starts. For more information on how we can help you save shielding gas use, visit us at netwelding.com. Thank you.